Elizabeth at A Literary Princess, and today I am seeing whether I actually read the books that I haul. I got this idea from Shelley Swearingen, who did a very similar video recently. I, I mean, hers got me thinking, I was like, do I read the books that I haul? Also, because my first year on booktube, I did a lot of book hauls because I was doing my qualifying exams. I remember somebody, I forget who it was, like recommending me as a channel to watch and they were like, she does a lot of book hauls. Like, yeah, I buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> but do I read them? So I thought this would be an interesting little experiment. I have taken the first two book hauls from my channel, which were a qualifying exam book haul and then my Christmas book haul. So I have a mix of ones that I bought myself and that I was given. There are 11 of them, so we will see how many of them I actually read. And then at the end, I have a little mini book haul for you, because you remember in the last book haul when I was like, I'm not going to get any more books between now and Christmas. I lied. I lied. It's fine. It's fine. Let's jump in. So the first book haul was my qualifying exam book haul, and I had six books that I got. So the first one was The Second Sex by Simone de Beauvoir. And I did read this. I read this whole thing. Look at me go. <laughs> this was hard. This was really difficult. It is very dense. It is translated from French. So I feel like sometimes with translated works, especially translated nonfiction, it's always harder than something that was originally written in English. I read this whole thing. I didn't like it too much. I think I gave it two and a half stars. But this was for my feminist theory list. And I did it. So it was read. I bought it and I read it. Next up is On Liberty and the Subjection of Women by John Stuart Mill. I have read half of it because I have read The Subjection of Women, which is really why I bought it. That was also for my feminist theory list. So I really enjoyed that a lot. I'm pretty sure it's a four star from me. I do still need to read On Liberty, but like I'm considering this read because I read what I bought it for. No, oh, we were doing well and now we're, now we're not. The next one is Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. I, so I had read this before and I have another copy of it uh, up where you can't see it, but it's an older copy from the 40s with no notes. So I figured I would get the penguin and have, you know, notes. And I thought I might reread this and I, I didn't. I did not. I will eventually though, but it, it didn't happen. And the same can be said for The Let by Charlotte Bronte. So I really should have reread this, I feel like, for my qualifying exams. Shirley is more like, eh, it doesn't really matter. The Let, Jane Eyre and The Let are kind of the important ones. For Bronte, but it's fine. I didn't need it for the exams, so whatever. And um, again, it, the original copy I read it from had no notes, so it was just a bunch of untranslated French back when I really couldn't read French. So got a penguin so that I would have the notes. Didn't read it though. It's fine. I'll read it eventually. Okay, but now we're back to we're back to doing good. Yay! The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. I've actually read this twice since buying it. I loved it so much. This is a five star read. One of my favorite works of Victorian literature ever. Highly recommend. And the final one from the qualifying exam book call is Aurora Lee and Other Poems. And I did read this whole thing. All of Aurora Lee and all of the other poems. And I gave it three stars. Not my favorite. I do want to revisit it maybe on audiobook because I think I do better with poetry when it's read out loud and I'm not reading like 300 pages of Aurora Lee out loud. <laughs> it's just not happening. But yeah, I did read it. And then we get into the Christmas haul. And I guess I'm trying to think of what year this was. This must have been 2021. Because I think I'm coming on two years for this channel. So Christmas of 2021, I got um, five books. So first up, we've got Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. And I did read this. I read it this year. And it's 
It, along with its sequel, Painted Devils, is my top books of the year, like in the number one slot. So, yeah. I read a lot of, <laughs> I feel like I read a lot of these this year. <laughs> Next up, we have A Struggle for Fame by Charlotte Rydell. I also read this one. Um, I read this in 2022 for my qualifying exams, and I'm actually writing about it in my dissertation. So, yeah. One that I did not read, The Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Tsujimura. I want to read this next year, definitely. It's a portal fantasy. It sounds so up my alley, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. It's been on my TBR a few times, and it just didn't happen. But next year. Another one that I did read, this is The Traveling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arikawa. Again, I read it this year. Absolutely loved it. It's in the number two spot for top books of the year. I cried. I cried a lot. And then finally, the last one that I got for Christmas, and one that I did in fact read. This is The Guest List by Lucy Foley, and I read it this year. <laughs> so it, it took me, took me a little bit, but I did read them. And this was really great. It's a mystery set on a remote Irish island during a wedding. Top notch. Loved it. Out of the 11 books that I hauled over the first two book hauls from my channel, I read eight of them. And I think that's pretty good. Now, I would be very interested to know whether that uh, trend continues through the rest of the book hauls. Maybe I'll Maybe this will be a series. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. If this is interesting to you and you want to know about more of the books I've hauled and whether I've read them, let me know down in the comments and I can do another video like this at some point. But let's get into the book haul because, you know, if I read books that I haul, then I need to buy more books, right? It's fine. Two of them were free. It's fine. It's fine. So first up is um, two that were not free that I bought, but this one is like for work. So it's like, it doesn't count, right? This is Writing Your Journal Article in 12 Weeks, A Guide to Academic Publishing Success by Wendy Laura Belcher. Uh, this was recommended by a professor recently at a panel that my department held on publishing. And it's a workbook, like, so it takes you through, like, all these tasks to do in 12 weeks to write your journal article and send it in for publication. And I do have a journal article that I want to work on as soon as I'm done with this fellowship application I'm doing. So it seemed like a good thing to do. <laughs> and, yeah, I think it's going to be really helpful. It's a work thing, so, you know, it's fine. And I needed to buy one more book um, on Thrift Books to get free shipping for writing your journal article. <laughs> so I got Our Mutual Friend by Charles Dickens. So I have been saying in quite a few videos in the past year, um, in Victober videos, and then in my 30 classics, did I read my 30 classics to read before 30 and 40 classics to read before 40, that I need to read more Charles Dickens. So I decided to go with Our Mutual Friend. I'm pretty sure this is Katie from Books and Things' favorite Dickens book. And it honestly just sounds really good. It centers on an inheritance and a guy presumably drowned getting pulled out of the river. It just sounds good, okay? So I decided, sure, we'll go with that in the Penguin Edition because I like the Penguin Editions, as you all know. So I don't know if I'll get to it next year. I mean, it's definitely not happening this year, but we'll see what happens. And then I've talked about this before. Um, in my, the administrative assistant for our department in her office, people just like drop off books that you can take for free. So every time I go over and visit her for whatever reason, I look at the books, obviously. <laughs> And so I picked up two in my most recent visit to her office. And the first one is The Dutch House by Ann Patchett. I have heard a lot about Ann Patchett. I've seen this book in bookstores a lot, but I'm not familiar with her, so I never wanted to spend any money. But free. Free. And what does the back say? It's a flap, not the back. So it starts at the end of the Second World War. Um, they bought, a guy buys a lavish estate, 
and then oh it sounds like a family saga set over the course of five decades it's a dark fairy tale about two smart people who cannot overcome their past that sounds interesting it sounds like something i might like so i figured yeah why not the last one I got, I actually saw the time before when I was in the administrative assistant's office and I thought about getting it and then I was like, no, nah, I already have a copy. But then I was regretting it because this is a penguin copy and I don't have a penguin copy. <laughs> no problem, it's fine. This is Hope Leslie by Catherine Sedgwick. Catherine Mar Maria Sedgwick. Uh, I actually read this for my American literature course in my second year of the PhD, which will be getting its own video at some point soon. And I liked it. Um, I have like some weird, not great publication of it. And so when I saw the penguin, I was like, oh, it's a penguin. So even if I never reread it, it'll look it on my shelves. It's, I didn't realize when I picked it up, it's super heavily annotated. So I guess somebody read it for class and it's like writing all in it. So I don't know if I'm in love with that, but also it was free. So free, you know. So that's my little mini book haul. And now I really will not be getting any more books until Christmas. And then I'll be getting a lot of books because the list that I gave my parents and my in-laws were mostly just books. But So, do I read the books that I haul? I would say, based on this small selection, the answer is overwhelmingly yes. I read 8 out of the 11. I would say that's pretty good. Which means I can justify buying more books. <laughs> so, let me know down in the comments below. Have you read any of these? What did you think? What books have you hauled recently? Do you immediately read the books that you buy? Or do you wait several years and then get to them? Or do you never get to them? It has been great chatting with you. I will see you soon. Bye.